today I like to show you that where where I can install this motor heater and warmer in this Toyota VVTi engine. And there is two places where I can install this motor heater. And and here is this my engine. It is in just in there and there is two point. If if you have heater what what goes what goes in this hole there is hole in here and you can install that heater in that hole in here and next we look that closer okay and here is fly feel and then when we check this cylinder head a little bit down and there's exhaust manifold and exhaust pipe area and just in here up, here's hole. In that that hole in there. And this hole has been, I believe, that made for those heaters. There's like example that I have this socket metallic bar, what demonstrates like this engine plug in heater. And, and this goes in here in that way. And then when I install that back in. I need to only hammer that little bit and then it's in there stuck and then only plug in in electric wire and then in that area in here it, it creates and heat up this my, my engine block what is the most biggest part okay and now I take that away because this this is not heater this was like example but in next I there's two two type of heaters. First one was this plug-in heaters, but this better one, I think so. If you could purchase in your Ford or GM car in this hole in one heater it is better. But then we have those better than nothing heaters, what are plug out heaters. And I have in here one example. And this, these parts are really easy to purchase in like US Autos Parts Store or, or eBay or any other parts. There's many manufacturers. Plug-in heater is the name. And these parts becomes in outer of this engine body in that way. And next we look at installation more. Okay, and in here, that part in here, this is this outer heater and this is this part is actually when I check this is either Defas or Calix made products and these companies also produce this outer of engine heaters and next I saw that how to take that out and how to install that heater and first I need to open that bolt Okay, and this part is in here, this heater, and first I need to open that bolt in here, and this bolt size is is 17 millimeter socket, which in that place, and then I open that, and now it seems that this is so tight that, that I need bigger bar in here, and bigger moment. Okay, and now I have longer bar and then like three times more force and and now now this bolt opens. Okay, and then, then I take my friends. Then when I take that away, now this this heater electric element is in free in here. Okay, and this is the another place where we can install this heater, and this place is in just in this 
below of this this uh, this exhaust manifold and there is this this uh, power steering pump okay and this was this information that where in this Toyota VVTi engine I can install these heaters in that position that position this outer heater and in that pipe in here becomes this this electric cable what we plug in in our homes electric system and then there was this also the second heater place and it was in just in here where I insert now my finger in that place but in that hole what is so deep I can install different kind of uh, this electric heater there is that pipe area is metallic and it, it goes in here that way and we only hammer that in inside and and if if you leave if you live in any areas what is in this uh, uh, this uh, this level is something like if we live in New York New York area or then in in this San Francisco line in the upper of that area we should install these heaters in our car but but uh, not in this heater is not not very useful in Texas or in then Miami and not also in Mexico City but uh, of course we can use this heater in in warm areas too but it is not so useful and then in Europe I think that this line is something like if you live in London area, if you li live north of the, then London, it's good to re install this heater. And also in this Germany, German area, if you live in this uh, this München area, in in this upper area is must. And and if all, of course those Alps, Alps, if you live in Switzerland, there this heater is really useful. And it all. Uh, Italy or France. Okay, and of course in in this China and Japan, of course, sorry, they are big areas. Okay, and this was this information and thank you for watching this video. And there is idea that that when we install this block out heater, that this heater must be so well fit and so tight against in this engine body than possible. If if we could could weld this part in totally in here or glue well, it is the better because there is idea that this part becomes really hot, like 200 Celsius temperature settings, and this is really hot. If I touch that in 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 this way when this electric is on. I burn my fingers because it's so hot and then it starts to heat up this engine body and then this our engine becomes warm and, and in, in, the, in winter mornings this engine stop up better and, and also this car don't, don't eat so much gasoline and petrol when, when this is warm and if, if engine is cold and very uh, icy, then this engine consume more gasoline. And then there is the third very important thing that when we heat up this engine block, also those engine engine inside parts like bearings and pistons, they don't burn out so much than in icy and frozen situation. There is three excellent things. Okay, and then this installation, how to install this block out, this heater. It happens so that first we purchase in some kind of this heater, and then if we are lucky, we can purchase in just like in special design in this Toyota body, like this Swedish Defa product. But in US, we have generic block out heaters, what fits in, in any cars and any place, and then we can install that in 
in this place and then second thing is that we need to have some support brace or the support bar what we install in some bolt hole in here this like this Toyota's uh, engine block is full of those ready bolt holes in here like in here 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 and then we can loan something those old bolt bars and now I think that I I could install that my block heater this is the best part what this this dealer has been plan and first I saw that part and next I uh, saw other part what could suit also and then here is my support bar and bolt and then I installed that in here and there is also small tap and this small bolt in here that I can install that hole hole in directly in there okay and this, this way then I start to fasten this bolt So, and now this block in heater, it has been installed in here. And then we need to only check that is this enough tighten in here, that it is not loosened. And then we have this special cable, electric wire, what we hook up in that part. And the other part goes to this, our house, electric cable, this uh, hole. And, and now this this outer outer this heater is ready for using and of course if you like to use some special aluminium paste in between this this part and any engine block then this heating process can work even better but this is this is now quite well and then i saw that if you purchase some some generic heater that how to install those and this is like again example I open first that bolt in here okay and then I think that I like to install that part in here and let's look at what it happens first in I, I check that what might be good position, like in something like that. Okay, good. And then I first install this my support bolt in here, in here, and then let me a moment. Okay, and then I think that. Some, some, some place in here, in that place could be good. Okay, let's check that what, how, how I could manage that. Okay, this is like, like that way. Okay, good. This is quite okay, okay. And if I have big engine bay like in four trucks like F415, there is huge amount of place that I can install this in here. This is Okay, 
and this is this is other way to install it is also in fast and in there and then there is possibility if you uh, if you like to tune up your engines in really well water like in Alaska or North Pole or South Pole fix you can install these heaters in like three one in here, one in here, one in here and fourth in here in fourth heaters and then this engine is quite hot when you start in morning that it is possible to install this more in here in different places and then we have much more warmer engine I have planned to install sometimes that I, I might install two heaters but, but it is my future plan okay and this was this information how to install this block art heater and thank you for watching this video